Hey there view, today we are going to go through the products, quotes and contracts module. It's from the admin trail mix for the certification training about configuring price books, templates, contracts to help your sales rep sell products. You can just find it through trailhead.salesforce.com and your products, quotes and contracts in the search field and you should be able to find the module there so let's get started create price books to track products learning objectives after completing this unit you will be able to explain how products and price books work together set up a price book and define a product schedule Get reps selling the right products. Your reps track the products they sell to customers using product records. Products include details such as the product's name, code, description, indication of whether it's active. In other modules, in the optimized sales feature for Lightning Experience Trail, we have mentioned that your mayor sells components and service plans for solar energy systems. The company also partners with a supplier for renewable diesel power generators. We see those products in the products list view. Here we see the products recently viewed. Each of those products has a standard price. When you create products in Salesforce, you add a standard price to each one. Then those products appear in the standard price book accessible from each product or from the app launcher so here we see the standard price book the list price for each think of the standard price book as a master book for all of your products sometimes though you want to track a product that has more than one price that's when you create multiple price books say for example you sell coffee grinders at different prices depending on whether you're selling to domestic or non-domestic customers or for example in my line of work software sales the larger customers they have different price books um, when they have a lot of licenses of course you give them better prices and for that uh, you can create a price book in order to have a fixed price for future opportunities so you don't need to add discounts time and time again uh, where you need to figure out like what discounts you gave the last time let's continue here track multiple prices for the same product here's Amaya Solar's Salesforce admin Maria Jimenez works with multiple sales teams one of those teams sales to manufacturing industry customers on the west coast of the United States that sales team asked Maria to help them track products that have slightly discounted prices. The discount offsets a tax incentive that isn't available to customers in that region of the country. Tracking these products with discounted prices is possible and easy. Maria just creates a price book specified for West Coast sales. Here's how she does it. From the app launcher, Maria searches for price books and selects it from the items list. So let's do this. This is the app launcher. Price. Books. And it's completely empty. To create a new price book, Maria clicks new and then adds the specifics. So let's just do this real quick. West Coast Manufacturing. So 
there is an active price book, discounted prices for the West Coast. And we save it. After Maria saves her work, the new price book appears. On the related tab, she clicks add products and selects one of the products and currency and clicks next. So here it's the 1000 watts, uh, kilowatt diesel generator in US dollars. Is this in euro? Maybe because the account is in euro or because I changed something, I'm not really sure. Here's where Maria adds the list price specific to this new price book. See how it's lower than the standard price of $1,000. Currency I can change for some reason. When I go back, I have no option to select the currency there. I'm not really sure why that is. Some price books you also need to specify the currency. Here we can edit it so it's in US dollars. Let's see. No, it's not possible. Let's just add that product, continue there. So here's a little bit less, um, 98,500. Yes, a bit different here. I don't have any option like to override it, it looks different, not really sure why. Maybe things were changed in the meantime. So you can either make this active or inactive. Oh yeah, I can choose its standard price. And notice how she marks the entry active. Well, it's already active by default, but I can uncheck that. That's because her rep wants to sell the products right away. After Maria saves the work, she is ready to add more products to the new price book. How sales reps sell products in Salesforce? Maria sales reps are ready to sell their West Coast to sell to their West Coast customers. One of the newer sales reps, Lance, works an opportunity in the qualification sales. He called Rito, a key decision maker at Dickinson PLC. Rito gave a lens enough details to determine that a 1000 kilowatt diesel generator is the best option to meet his customers' needs. Add a product to an opportunity. Because Dickerson PLC is on the west coast, Lance uses the price book for his west coast sales. Here is how. From the products related list on the opportunity Lance is working on, he selects Add Product. So let's go there, because I'm... And here we can choose a price book, non-standard or West Coast Manufacturing. He then chooses a price book, West Coast Manufacturing and adds the product Gen Watt Diesel 1000 kilowatt and set the quantity to 1. In that price book, the product price reflects the discount your the mayor offers.
Lens confirms the product appears as he expected with the discounted price. Yes, it does. See how easy it is to track and sell products using multiple prices. Yes, very easy. Now we get to the challenge for, 100, for 500 points. Track multiple products in a price book. Create a price book named Northwest Diesel Generator Sales. A 1000 kilowatt diesel generator needs to be added. Like there, we can select multiple items a 200 kilowatt and a 10 kilowatt. So, these are the yes. Click next so we can do this all in one go. 87,000, 23,000, 4,500. Let's check this. And let's get right to the next unit. We will do this all in one go because it's just too small units 